As a librarian, sometimes people ask, you know, what do librarians do? Well, fundamentally, we have all these pieces of information, whether it be a book, whether it be a pamphlet, a sermon cassette, or an electronic article. And what we're trying to do is catalog and classify all those things so that people can use them and find exactly what they need at the right moment. We started out with this collection of about 4,000 articles that an area professor who was retired had given to us, and those centered mainly on Puritan studies. So we hired a PhD program director and we were sort of vision casting for how are we going to develop this PhD program, how is the library going to support it, and further, where does our seminary fit in the niche of reformed seminaries? And we thought of this Puritan article index, a collection of articles that we had, and we thought, okay, that really cements us into a niche. If we can develop that into a database that's searchable for researchers, for faculty, for doctoral students, that's a huge boon and asset to Puritan studies worldwide. So we were able to develop it into this, really a research database, searchable by keyword, and it, another unique feature is that it has a browse bibliography section. So we've arranged all the articles by topics, so you can click on this outline and then see which articles are related to the topic. We also have a browse Puritans list, so all the Puritans are listed in alphabetic order with their names, their dates, birth and death. So you can find the Puritan you're studying, click on their name and see what articles have been written about them. And let me stress, this is secondary literature, this is not primary literature. I had a research paper on Puritan piety. So if you go to JSTOR and you type in the word piety, you get 66,000 entries. The first one is Aristotelian piety. You go to ATLA, you type in piety, full text search, you get over 800 articles on piety. You go to the Puritan Studies Index and you type in piety, you get 142 entries. But those 142 entries are all about the Puritans or contemporaries that affected the Puritans. So the Puritan Studies Index to me, as someone that studies the Puritan era, saves me hours and hours of searching through these huge online databases that have thousands of articles that don't pertain to me, which allows me more time to read more articles and do more studying and it just brings out the depth of my research because instead of spending hours and hours trying to find these articles, I can spend hours and hours digesting these articles. Whenever I'm doing, whether it's a class or whether it's a research, so right now I'm doing some work on Richard Sibbs and Paul Baines, and then another project on Lewis Bailey, I immediately go and look at the PSI to see what I might find. So that has been a wonderful, wonderful gold mine. I believe there's over 5,000 sources already in this, and it's not only articles, but there's dissertations. And what I think might be most helpful is you don't always pick up the dissertations in your searches. So in finding those, it's an excellent resource for me. I have mentioned this to friends and colleagues that would be interested in this, but I would also like to encourage anyone that might be viewing this not only to try out the Puritan Studies Index, but also if you have the means to contribute to the library because those gifts allow them to continue to expand and add more and more resources so that more people can benefit from this extensive gold mine that is being discovered for us here at uh, William Perkins Library. It's a joy for me because I love to connect people with the resources, the articles, the secondary literature that they need to complete their writing or their study, their research. So it's a joy especially to offer it to the world, to academia. As you research and you come across articles that we don't have included in the Puritan Studies Index, please feel free to send those along so that we can keep this resource on the cutting edge of Puritan Studies. Check out William Perkins Library online and you'll find the Puritan Studies Index there.